The recovery of crashed aircraft from the ocean floor is a complex and often perilous endeavor, one that embodies the intersection of cutting-edge technology, skilled human effort, and a deep respect for the lives and resources involved. The U.S. Navy, tasked with safeguarding the nation, frequently finds itself in the position of needing to recover aircraft that have met untimely fates, whether due to mechanical failure, pilot error, or other unforeseen circumstances. The process is not just about retrieving metal and machinery. It's about understanding what went wrong and ensuring that such incidents do not happen again. Take, for instance, the recovery of an F-A-18 Super Hornet that crashed into the Persian Gulf in 2015. This aircraft, a vital component of the Navy's tactical capabilities, went down shortly after takeoff from the USS Theodore Roosevelt due to an engine failure. Fortunately, both the pilot and the weapon system officer were able to eject safely, but the aircraft sank to the ocean floor, resting at a depth of 190 feet. The mission to recover this fighter jet was not just about salvaging a piece of military hardware, it was about uncovering the truth behind its failure. Navy divers, equipped with specialized training and gear, descended into the depths, battling the challenges of underwater currents and visibility to retrieve the aircraft. In stark contrast, the recovery process for a P-8 Poseidon aircraft that crashed in 2023 presented an entirely different set of challenges. This long-range anti-submarine warfare and maritime patrol aircraft, based on the Boeing 737 NG airframe, overshot the runway during landing in Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii. The P-8 was larger and more complex than the F-A-18, and its resting place added an additional layer of difficulty. The aircraft was found perched precariously on a coral reef, with parts of its fuselage floating above the water. Protecting the delicate marine environment was of utmost importance, necessitating careful planning and execution. Navy divers conducted hydrographic surveys to assess the seabed before commencing the recovery, ensuring that their actions would not further damage the sensitive coral ecosystem. To lift the aircraft, inflatable salvage roller bags were employed. These ingenious devices acted as cylindrical flotation devices, allowing the P-8 to be rolled smoothly off the water and onto the runway. The entire operation required meticulous coordination and a deep understanding of both the aircraft's structure and the environmental conditions. Every decision made during this recovery was aimed at minimizing damage, preserving the aircraft's operational capabilities, and ensuring the safety of the salvage crew. Civilian aircraft recoveries present their own set of challenges, as illustrated by the case of Transair Flight 810, a Boeing 737-200 that had to ditch in the Pacific Ocean due to engine failure. The aircraft sank to the seabed, and the National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, sprang into action, initiating a search for the wreckage. Utilizing remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, the team descended to depths of 350 to 400 feet to locate the aircraft's major parts. The recovery operation spanned a month during which divers and ROVs worked in tandem to retrieve crucial pieces of evidence, including the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder. These devices are vital for understanding the sequence of events leading up to the accident, providing insights that can help prevent future tragedies. The technology employed in these recovery missions is nothing short of remarkable. From side-scan sonar to advanced ROVs equipped with manipulators, the tools available to salvage teams have evolved significantly over the years. For instance, the Bold Horizon survey vehicle used in the Transair recovery was equipped with everything necessary to recover large and delicate aircraft parts. The integration of sonar technology with ROV capabilities allows for precise mapping and retrieval of wreckage ensuring that even the most challenging recovery missions can be executed with efficiency and accuracy. The importance of recovering wreckage extends beyond immediate salvage operations. Investigations into crashes, such as the TWA Flight 800 disaster, have shown that analyzing wreckage can reveal critical information about the causes of accidents. In that case, 
the recovery of 1,600 pieces of wreckage ultimately illuminated the reason for a mid-flight explosion. Each piece of debris can tell a story, providing investigators with the clues needed to piece together the events leading to an accident. Moreover, the recovery of historical artifacts, such as the F-6F Hellcat fighter planes from Lake Michigan or the CSS Georgia, an ironclad gunboat from the Civil War, illustrates the broader significance of salvage operations. These missions serve as a bridge connecting the past to the present, honoring the sacrifices of those who served while also expanding our understanding of history. The recovery of the CSS Georgia, for example, involved advanced sonar technology and meticulous archaeological methods, demonstrating the intersection of history, technology, and human endeavor. In conclusion, the recovery of crashed aircraft from the ocean floor is a multifaceted process that requires a blend of advanced technology, skilled personnel, and a commitment to preserving both human life and the environment. Whether it's a military jet or a civilian aircraft, each recovery mission is a testament to human ingenuity and determination. As we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in salvage operations, we not only honor those who have lost their lives in aviation accidents, but also pave the way for safer skies in the future. The ocean may hold its secrets deep beneath the waves, but with the right tools and the right people, those secrets can be uncovered, leading to a deeper understanding of our past and a safer journey into our future.